Dr. S.A.S. Hafizullah is spokesperson of the DMK joining us. Sumit Chandar is advocate, constitutional expert and Ramaswamy Mayappan is political analyst on the show. I do thank you all for joining us. Uh, Dr. Hafizullah, I want to begin with you. Uh, is it right for the Assembly Speaker, regardless of what happened and whether you like his actions or not, is it right for the Governor to be called names inside the Assembly as the Speaker did, calling him the follower of so-and-so? Political disagreements aside and actions aside, there is a certain dignity with which the governor has to be addressed. No, uh, I I want to put it the other way. There is a dignity that the governor should act. The uh, the act of the speaker is a retaliation to the behavior of the governor at, at the first sight. You know, see, there is the uh, there is a tradition in the convention in the assembly of Tamil Nadu that a uh, Tamil Thai Walter, which is no way inferior to the national anthem for the Tamils is the first thing to be played before the address and after the address is completed, there is a national anthem. This is the tradition. Today, this governor comes, he wants to change the tradition. We change it for him and tomorrow the other governor comes and says, no, instead of uh, the national anthem in the beginning, I want something else. So how can an elected uh, assembly keep changing to the will and wish of the governor who is just a temporary visitor to the state? We have a tradition. Tamil Thai Walter is equal to I the get that. Tamils. So like I said, I'm not disagreeing with the point yes. you're making. Fair enough. But you cannot quite call the governor names inside assembly. So uh, if you are also no, escalating the situation, you could have registered no. your protest outside the no, assembly. This, this, you, this, surely this, the government would this, like this. what the governor said or did. But retaliating, the word you're using, retaliating against a governor itself is the issue here. No, for that, the governor should behave like a governor. Governor is behaving like a leader of opposition. Who will see to comment on what is being said? Governor's job is to just read out whatever is being given to the governor by the state government. Today, his behavior, behavior of asking to play national anthem instead of Tamil Thai Varth is an insult to the Tamils. It's against the tradition of Tamil, it's against the emotions of Tamil. But so Dr. Hafizullah, what I'm saying is, I think you're missing what I'm saying. I'm saying you can have a disagreement, you can say this even on this debate. You can exactly. come out of the assembly and say these no, things. This, this, to call somebody yes, yes. a follower of Nathuram Godse as if that makes him a criminal. Is that fair response from a government to a governor? Yeah, but, but the speeches of the speaker were personal. It was immediately expunged. So that sure. is the dignity. So, yes, so that's fine. No, that's how you di respond digni in a dignified manner. You can't, you know, you can't retaliate and then claim higher moral ground. Is what I'm trying to establish. No, no. If you retaliate no, no. also you, you, in similar ways or worse, then you are as good as anybody else. You don't get no, a high moral no, ground. Atu, no, no. Be, being an Aturam Godse is such a demeaning, demeaning word for the people. Is it so? Why, Why did you use it offensive? then? You meant it as an insult. No, it's not about... That, that the, you're that, not understanding. The, it's not about ideology. whether it is demeaning or not. You meant it as an insult. Yes, yeah, we never meant it as an insult. If it is so insulting, then it is for the governor to be... A, see, we said... Okay, now you're you know saying you didn't meant it as an insult. In the then what the was the need to say it? In, in, the, in the house of the assembly, you uh, uh, a nominated person cannot come in and try to, uh, you know, demean... And, uh, you know, try to change the tradition and convention of the election. Okay, I don't uh, refute that house. point you're making. I'll take that to our uh, no, guests that, also joining. No, once, once again, once again, I'll, I have to settle one by one, no? Today. I have to settle both the state's actions and the governor's actions. So, Ramaswamy Mayapan, I want to ask you. I know more, more and more governors are doing this. But are they also not kind of taking too far what the governor's discretion may be? in picking and choosing what they should say or read out from what is a conventional government speech. Now, if everybody started doing that, the whole constitutional mechanism will come to an end. Uh, Ms. Gupta, very good evening to your viewers. Um, see, the primary concern then should arise from the, con uh, from the Constitution. What does Article 176.1 read? It reads that the address should contain elements that inform the legislature of the causes of its summons and how is the causes of its summons interpreted we will have to look at the constitutional assembly debates 18th may 1949 and 1st june 1949 this entire term and the governor's special address have been debated heavily both in the uh, construct of the parliament as well as in the legislature assembly so when this is debated and discussed 
Katie Shah raises questions as to what would be the exact nature of the discussion, and is he restricted to only parrot what the government wants, or is he to address the interests of the people of the state hmm. or the people of the country? And this is answered by B R Ambedkar. Everyone prides in the DMK talks of him very highly, but refuses to follow his words to the letter of the law. And B R Ambedkar categorically states the governor is not only portraying the interests of the government, but also the interests of the people. The interests of the people will have to be brought about. One, two. When they say causes of its summons, it means what is the subject that is going to be discussed by the legislature in the future. This address that there is a 48-page report, oh, sorry, 48-page address of the governor that has been released by the legislature. Well, the 48-page address discusses matters that can't be discussed by the legislature, matters that are in the first list of the constitution, not in the concurrent list, not in the state list, but in the center list. Matters of fund allocation, fund utilization by the center, matters of a private trust. Matters of a trust under the control of the prime minister. All these are not matters of subject of discussion by the state legislature. When that can't be addressed, when people who are responsible for those respective bodies and organizations can't uh, play any role in the legislature, those can't be matters of causes of its summons. That's okay. Categorical. What about that the national the anthem says. issue? Should the governor insist that the tradition be broken in the in the Chennai assembly? No. So uh, tradition is something that evolves. Tradition is not something that stays stuck constantly without reason. And here, the governor categorically does not say that he does not want Tamil Thai Walter to be sung. At every event he goes, he insists upon Tamil Thai Walter being sung. Even beyond 6 p.m. when events close, he says Tamil, Tamil Thai Walter should be the first anthem that taken up. But the question about the national anthem being sung, there is a Ministry of Home Affairs uh, guideline issued on how uh, a governor's event or a parliamentarian's event or a member of legislature's event should proceed and should conclude. And when that is a requirement, all that he requests is that let the national anthem be sung before and after. Okay. So when that request is not only his personal interest and is also from a Ministry of Home Affairs protocol, that should be followed one. Two, what is wrong in a national anthem being sung? National anthem is something that brings pride of the entire nation. The use of the Tamil region, the Dravida is used in the national anthem. Ramana Tagore is uh, rightfully put its place and talks about the entire nation. Talks okay, about let's Brahmin, not get into that. Let's not country. get into that. What's right or wrong about the national anthem? But